Hey everybody, this is Dave here from Acer500hacks.com. Do a quick how to overclock. Uh, most of uh, the issues I've come across trying to overclock is every time I tried to use the CPU Turner 2 overclock, um, it wasn't a kernel that allowed overclocking. Uh, there seems to be <clears throat> something going around on XDA where um, a person didn't allow GPL coding, basically open source, and uh, XDA is not allowing that on their forms unless it's open source. Um, so what I got here is Thor version 3.9 R3. Um, you kind of got to Google up uh, the the kernel or the dev. Um, let me see which one I'm running right now. And uh, once I mean once you have the kernel installed, it's actually fairly easy. Um, I'm running the uh, Flex Striker. This is the R6 base. Um, what, this is more up to date than what's on XDA. Uh, so, anyways, basically, once you uh, have the kernel installed, you're just going to go to CPU turn, Tuner, and as you can see this long bar right here, um, I'm currently at 1000 megahertz, which is the regular processor speed. I can either grab this slider and move it down or up higher, and it's going to change it to a faster CPU speed, or I can just hit this menu button right here, and then I get to see all the speeds that you can change it to. Um, <clears throat> coming from the Evo 3D, there's a lot more specific megahertz options to change up from. I mean, normally it would jump, jump 100 megahertz each time. Um, and this allows you to basically jump up by 20 to 50 um, hertz uh, per. So I'm going to go ahead and I, I tested this out going through um, nearly each one to, all the way up to 1680 and it, mine, as far as, I don't know if it's going to be different for you, uh, works at 1680. And I ran a Linpack score. When I ran a Linpack before uh, doing this, I was getting it in the 50s. And when I was taking my way slowly up and kept running, I mean, that's incredible. 102. I know it's inconsistent results, but I've actually gotten above 102. And see, there's 98. Um, that making it incredibly fast uh, kernel and uh, your device a lot faster as you see that program just instantly open up and uh, everything works real smooth um, I think you might have to set it to boot to stay this way although I don't see that option right now I'd notice if I uh, <clears throat> restart my um, tablet it goes back to 1000 megahertz so or gigahertz, um, one gigahertz. So this is how you basically, uh, once you install the kernel or a ROM with a kernel that can overclock, you just need to download the CPU Turner tuner and click on it, and it gives you some advanced or so forth options. And you can change the governor from normal to full speed, which will use up a lot more battery life. Um, if you go to save battery, it'll cut it down. If you go to extreme save battery, it'll probably run your processor slow most of the time. But uh, definitely worth it, checking it out. Um, they definitely can speed up your device, especially if you got lots of load time. So check it out. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks, guys.